What's up guys, Black Horns here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Malada 2019 for the second stage of the 2019 Vuelta a España between Benidorm and Calpe. A hilly stage for the first road stage on this Vuelta. We finished in a good position in yesterday's team time trial which you want, you may want to check it out. It's, uh, well it's on the channel in the Vuelta playlist. Uh, but yeah, good team time trial to start our campaign. In Spain, um, today's a hilly stage, 185 kilometers. We won't send anyone in the break, uh, but we're gonna try and win the stage. I think there's yeah, there's 10 seconds. So if one of our guys wins the time trial, we will take the leader's jersey uh, if we finish ahead of like an Astana guy, I think. But um, yeah, enough talking. Without further ado, let's jump in and see what we can do in the Vuelta a España. We're on the way for the second set of the Vuelta. And uh, well, the riders don't seem very happy to, to be on this tour because none of them, except Lawson Craddock, is on a good day. Um, I mean, if they, can be not, if they can be on bad days when it's like not tough and be on like plus fives every time there's a mountain stage, then I'm signing the deal right now. Uh, Mitchell Docker leading the peloton with Rigobert Turan, Hugh Carthy, Daniel Martinez. Um, I don't think it should be too much of an issue for Turan to like... Stay with the peloton here. I'm not seeing any attacks. It's far from the line, um, but it's never never a good sign. Maybe like he doesn't like hot weather, which could be a thing. Um, I haven't checked his uh, favorite weather. Hopefully, it won't affect me too much. Sergio Guita at the front as well. Same is uh, said for TJ Van Galeren as the first attacker of Die Vuelta are, are here. You've got Enrico Batalin, Sander Armé, Damien Tuz, Tobias Ludvigsen, and Jan Aberastori. Okay, well here's your first breakaway of the Vuelta. I'm surprised I'm not seeing anyone from Burgos BH. Uh, there he is. Angel Madrazo attacking for Burgos BH. Everyone's gonna let them go. Well, gonna let him go, sorry. Uh, yeah, Lawson Craddock is the only one yet to be at the front for us. And uh, I'll see you in a few kilometers, I think. Okay, uh, the rhythm is very hard in uh, the uh, Puerto de Confrides. I don't think the peloton wants the, like some of the guys in the break to go um, because there's been a junction at the front. Tomas Marzinski, for example, Will Barta, uh, I think Aran Buru as well had, jo had joined. There was another guy, uh, Mikel Biscara was also one of the guys who joined with uh, Matteo Fabro. I just don't think the peloton wants them to go. Uh, however, I've been thinking that maybe I could benefit from having someone in the break. So we've tried once with Lost and Craddock, it didn't work. But now that the peloton has completely come down, I'm going to go ahead in the break with Lost and Craddock and try to, uh, well, probably won't get points for this climb. Uh, but if I can, like, be in the break, um, actually, 144, I won't be able to get points here or there. No, it's not worth. It's not worth attacking. It isn't worth attacking. There we go. We just attack to show the jersey, show the EF colors, um, but we're going to come back in the peloton. Meanwhile, at the front, it's Zander Armé who will get the KOM points ahead of Alex Aramburu and Tomasz Marzinski. Crash! Lawson Craddock, he just came back in the peloton and he fell. That's just quite sad. Uh, but he's going to come back eventually. Yeah, he's going to come back in the descent of um, this climb, waiting uh, for the Alto de Beniloba to appear in front of the peloton. The gap is 3 minutes 22 with 150 km to go. Will Barta finish first of the uh, climb ahead of Tobias Ludvigsen and Damien Touz. Um, that doesn't change anything for the mountain classification. Zander Armé still leads the way uh, with uh, his 5 points after taking first place at the Puerto de Confrides. Uh, we're going to stop losing Carlo who finally came back at the front. 4 minutes 32 for the breakaway. Uh, next time I'll see you will be probably for the intermediate sprint. Crash in the peloton, crash in the peloton, and it's TJ Van Garderen. The man just lives on bad luck, and pretty much Roglic, Yoni Zagiri, Robert Racing, and Rafa Maika are down. And that's the end of the tour for TJ Van Garderen already. Wow. Wow. End of the tour for TJ Van Garderen. Okay. Uh, uh, shit. Fuck. That's not good. That really isn't good at all. Um... Hugh Carthy in the wheel of Daniel Martinez, Daniel Martinez in the wheel of uh, Lucen Craddock in the wheel of Sergio Iguita. And we're gonna pace now, because, I mean, 
I honestly don't care uh, right now because there's one thing that's interesting me. The fact that Primoz Roglic is down. And if I can capitalize on that, even if I have to be an absolute, like, um, if, I, if I have to be a very not nice person, uh, I don't care. Gap is three minutes. They'll probably come back in the climb, though. They're going to come back in the climb. We're going to pace during the climb. Sergio Iguita pacing at an incredible rate. Right now, the gap is 3 minutes 20. Uh, but knowing the PCM AI, uh, or like PCM gaps, uh, they'll come back probably now, as soon as like the peloton makes a junction here. Um, next up is going to be Lawson Craddock. He was on a good day today. Let's show what he can do. But yeah, they, they all came back in the peloton. Uh, the good thing is they are at the back. So... Maybe, uh, if they're not... Whoa, 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 there's a gap here. There is a gap. There is a gap. Lawson Craddock, Dan Martinez, Hugh Carthy, and Rigoberto Urano have gone as... Like, they've got a slight gap. Alex Armandrew tries to, like, cover it, but I don't know if he's going to be able to. Lawson Craddock is very strong today. Dan Martinez still in the wheel of Hugh Carthy, Rigoberto Urano struggling, Rigoberto Urano. Rigoberto is struggling to keep up, uh, but the gap has been made. There is a gap, 23 kilometers to go. Lawson Craddock and Dan Martinez, uh, well, Lawson Craddock and the rest of my team have made an impressive work here. And if I'm correct, the group Roglic is now down. Yep, Roglic is now down. Okay, well, down, uh, he's not with us anymore. Uh, we're going to continue pacing with Lawson Craddock in the descent. I don't know who's chasing us. It's Tao Gegenhardt. Tao is chasing us with Luis Leon Sanchez, Jacob Fulsong. Uh, is Miguel Lopez here? Uh, yep, the white jersey is here. He's the only distinctive jersey. He's still present in this group. Um, okay, let's be, let's play smart. Let's play smart. We're gonna pr we're gonna have Lawson Craddock and Dan Martinez to relay to like get some uh, some uh, job out of um, Craddock's hand if they're allowed. Why can't they relay? Okay, Luis Lan Sanchez is extremely strong today, apparently. Um, well, I'm still going to pace, though. However, I'm going to use Sergio Guita. Because I need some backup at the front. So I'm going to take all the help I can get. Roglic is currently 159 down, I think. Uh, who's that? Yeah. Roglic is 159 down. He's in the group with L uh, Logan Owen. Dan Martinez is going to take the will of Sergio Guita. There we go, we're going to slow down a bit with him. Uh, I didn't expect this first stage to be like that at all. I really didn't. Wood Pulse is trying to come back. Probably, like, there must be some leaders completely dropped. Like, except, except obviously Roglic, because he got dropped on, like, incident. Um, Alright, I just need Dan Martinez to do this climb quite well. Uh, and then we're, and then we're good. Higuita and, and Lawson Craddock are going to slow down because they're gone. But I'm fine with it. Dan Martinez, Hugh Carthy, Rigoberto Urano. 11 kilometers to go. 11 men in the group. All the time this group has an issue. They always have an issue. They always have to come back. Uh, the case of like Miguel Lopez. Ooh, Miguel Lopez is out. Miguel Lopez is out. Miguel Lopez has exploded. What a first stage. What a first stage. Miguel Lopez has exploded. He's now 40 seconds down the road. Okay. I didn't see that coming at all. I did not see that coming. Miguel Lopez is in the wheel of Alex Aramburu and they're trying to come back. But I don't think the, the, the Colombian can help. And that's quite impressive. Hugh Carthy pacing for Rigoberto Urán. Dan Martinez is here as well. We're going to give all we have with Dan Martinez on the flat terrain here. Come on, 5 kilometers to go. What a stage! What a stage! Oh god, I- oh my god. Ever since TJ withdrew from the race, this has been completely nuts. And it's considered a hill stage, so there will be gaps, I can guarantee it. Three kilometers to go. We can launch- we can begin our sprint. Dan Martinez, Hugh Carthy. Okay, who can- who can sprint here? Stibar Valverde can sprint. Well, the thing is, if Rigoberto hadn't been on minus three, I would have probably won it. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Zdenek Chibar is incredibly strong today, and he gets the win ahead of Valverde, Jakob Fulsang, Formolo, Dylan Tunes, Rigoberto Uran. 
Sanchez and Kelderman. Okay. Okay, we need to assess the gaps here. We need to assess the gaps. Miguel Angel Lopez is gonna lose probably a minute. Probably a minute, a minute for a minute 20. Minute 25. 130 for Miguel Lopez on the line. Okay, Nero Quintana is there as well. So he loses uh, he loses some time. That's the peloton. That's the peloton with uh, probably Primo Roglic. There's the yellow jersey at least. Primo Roglic loses on the first stage 2 minutes 40 on uh, Formolo, uh, on Valverde, Fugelsong and Rigoberto Uran. Woo! <laughs> Interesting first stage. Impressive win by Zenex Chiba today in Calpe. Uh, he managed to stay with the best and uh, to out sprint everyone in the peloton, well in the, in the leaders group. He finishes ahead of world champion Alejandro Valverde and Jakob Fugelsong, who will take the leader's jersey for Astana. I think if Rigoberto had been in a better shape, there probably would have been a case of me winning the stage, but there was there wasn't, sadly. Uh, Fugelsong won, oh sorry, leads the GC ahead of Luis Sanchez, Hugh Carthy, Uran, Valverde, Vudpuls, Kroivai, Carapaz, Kelderman and Chiba are already a top 10 that looks like a GC top 10 after stage 2. Uh, if you agree that Chiba probably will get wrecked. Um, mountain wise, Lotion Craddock. Oh wow. Okay. Lotion Craddock uh, takes the lead of the best climber classification uh, ahead of Zander Army and Daniel Martinez. That's probably when I paced uh, to get rid of like Froglitch and Micah. Okay, good. I, I would, I completely forgot about that. Best young rider is probably going to be. Oh, sorry, points classification. The next Chibar leads the way from Valverde and Jakob Fugelsong. Best young rider is Zucarty, 54 seconds ahead of Tadej Pogokar and 56 ahead of Martinez. Lopez, 125 down the road. Logan Owen, 248, so that's the group Roglic. Okay. Uh, best team, probably me? Yep. EF takes the lead, 29 seconds over Astana. I mean, I'd, I'd, I honestly didn't think that was going to happen uh, like that. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I'm still in shock. Uh, sadly... We need to like assess the damage. We've lost TJ Van Gaderen after this first stage. Uh, he it's a huge it's a huge loss. It just it really is. Uh, he just doesn't have luck this lad. He 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 just doesn't. Um, but because of that, thanks to him, we've managed to gain two minutes thirty on uh, Primus Roglic. I'm gonna try and find him. Uh, he's probably just ahead of here actually. Uh, two forty two. Primus Roglic is here. With um, I don't know maybe some some like some else riders have been uh, gone. Rafa Maika, so Rafa Maika, Roglic, Yoni Zagire, uh, well Prado Kiguita, no no big deal. Uh, Jose Rada, Mikel Nieve. Okay, I'm not seeing anyone else. What was Esteban Chavez? I can't see Chavez. Okay, we're just gonna go team by team. Uh, that's just gonna probably take a while. So Lato was in the peloton. Astana, no one cares. Uh, Bahrain, no one cares. Bora, so they've lost Micah. Burgos, no one cares. Caravan, no one cares. CCC, no one cares. Cofidis, no one cares. De Canuck, no one cares. Uh, okay, no, I, th I thought I had the withdrawal. Uh, EF, that's me. Euskadi, no cares. Uh, no, no, no. Nope. No, no, no. Chavez, Chavez, 77th. So he's probably, yeah, he's at 2.42. Yeah, there he is. Okay, well, inter very interesting first stage between, uh, well, second stage with first road stage between uh, Benidorm and Calpe. Hopefully, every stage can be this eventful. Uh, I'd love that. But, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, then please consider leaving a like down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'll try and, up well, I'm uploading daily um, until the end of the Vuelta. But um, I have been Black War. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.